Inside Five County Stadium lives years of memories for Jason Joyner. I went to my first Mudcats game in 1992. But the team he's grown up watching may soon have a different home. Fans like Joyner have been coming to Five County Stadium for more than three decades to watch the Carolina Mudcats play. But depending on the decision in Wilson tonight, fans may have to hop in the car and travel further east to see the team play. It would look something like this, a brand new stadium for the Mudcats. Along with it would come an investment in downtown development, including apartments and townhomes, retail space and a hotel. I think it would be awesome. It's all up for debate tonight in Wilson in the form of multiple public hearings. More foot traffic. The sports stadium would go up just a few steps from the Carlones Deli shop and the Whirligig Park. The cost about $69 million. It's a move that according to city documents would revitalize its downtown. Downtown. downtown wasn't a thing when I was growing up. It would give people more reason to come downtown. It could also be a venue to you know, have big you know, concerts. The Mudcats potential new home would be able to accommodate up to 4,500 people. That's about 2,000 fewer than Five County Stadium. There was previously discussion about the need to improve and renovate the stadium in order to meet the MLB standards. Joyner criticized Wake County leaders saying they're quote watching it happen. It has felt like the slowest robbery I have ever seen. Even within Wilson, some are split, worried about how it might affect the city's small town feel and the future of its prominent amateur team, the Wilson Toms. A lot of people are against it right now or might be against it, but I mean, all things start somewhere. Destiny Patterson, WREL News, Wilson.